Hi, I'm Katherine Adams Hutt, Registered Dietitian and Nutrition and Science Advisor to the Choline Information Council. I'm here to talk about the nutrient choline, which may be one of today's least well understood nutrients. Choline was declared an essential nutrient by the Institute of Medicine in 1998, but evidence from dietary surveys show that more than 90% of the U.S. population is not getting enough choline. In fact, only children typically get enough choline, and most adults, including pregnant and lactating women, don't get as much choline as they need. Diets deficient in choline can affect how our brain develops, as well as how our brain ages. One of the important functions of choline is to help your brain work. Now, brain uses choline to make a nerve messenger chemical called acetylcholine, and acetylcholine is the messenger chemical used by every nerve that leaves the brain and talks to the rest of your body. Research shows the importance of choline for the developing fetus and newborn. Fetal nutrition sets a stage for organ function in later life, so it's very important that pregnant women are consuming enough choline in their diets. Choline availability from your mother determines how your brain forms and how many nerve stem cells divide and how many nerve cells you have in your memory center and in your cortex, which is the area where you have functions like judgment or higher thinking processes. Cognitive development is influenced by many factors, including nutrition. Our nutritional status, including our choline status, helps support optimal brain function and academic performance in children. So the best evidence was generated by investigators at the Harvard School of Public Health, and that group measured how much choline women ate during pregnancy, first, second, third trimester. And then seven years later, they tested the children of those mothers on uh, IQ and cognitive function tests. And what they found was is that the children whose mothers had more choline during the last two trimesters of pregnancy did better on those IQ and memory tests. In addition to improving academic performance, choline may have a role in preventing Alzheimer's disease, the most common form of dementia affecting 26 million people globally. We know that the, at least the memory area brain has stem cells that are still dividing and forming new nerve cells into late middle life, so maybe 50, 55, something like that. And we know that um, in mouse models, we can encourage those adult stem cells to form more nerve cells by giving more choline. And more importantly, that enrichment of activities in the mouse, giving them games to play and mazes to run on, and combining choline with that seems to be uh, synergistic. You get more bang for your buck if choline is present. As you can see, choline is an essential nutrient important for the development and proper functioning of the brain. It's important to get enough choline at all life stages and to have a healthy lifestyle, which includes a well-balanced diet, not smoking, and getting enough exercise every day.